Well, morning again, it's 5 after 5 in the morning, so Saturday, 25th of March, 2023, part 2. I was talking about a monologue, doing, figuring things out left and right, and somewhere in there, video games was brought up. Call this a supplemental to the other log. I had grown up under the video game, zeros and ones. Been influenced by the electronic airwaves, electromagnetic energy out there, transmitting images and sound waves. All grew up to hear and listen to. Favorite a lot of tunes to stick with them. But the worst is when we start looking at the stuff that we just got ourselves into. Pong comes out. Zeros and ones compressed into our dummies. It's a master graphics being invented. You see the movie on a computer screen, on a television screen. Images of hitting a ball of a violent nature. Table pets. One of the most competitive things we can actually have in our first of sports. And the first day of Atari comes out with this game, the Sea of Hills, called Pong. Soon after, the other games are popping out of the imagination. One bit of great game was a Western. She had a real kick for that. First, you had to shoot past the damn movie wagon. But two guys trying to try to get past the wagon here. And then bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Space Wars. Shooting across the damn computer screen. Try to get it all over until we would. Ah. Mess with us. Blasting against an alien ship. Basically, the large rocks turn into small dust. But still, drive you crazy. How's that grab you? Oh, grabs me flying at this point. Oh, uh, Raster and Vector Graphics. Vector Graphics computers generating the lines that we see, the architecture, and the Raster is the little dots on the computer screen. Showing all these images that you can fly ships through and blast like crazy. Getting even worse is when they get colorized. We are in different environments. We're still using the heads that control joystick knobs, a ball on a stick, and on the Console itself, either a tabletop or a standalone tabletop. Tabletop like uh, this table here. A bit of a recess where you have the control stations, the fire buttons, and then you see the flat glass screen. Last screens right here, and you're underneath it. Or sometimes it's like this. Right Alright. Look. But I had to learn how to do that on the right hand. You have the fire buttons are on the right hand side. The hand was gone, and the hand was still in the joystick. I 
can't, you can't imagine the concentration on the kid's face. He's looking, he's staring intently, his brain's doing the calculations. You can start seeing smoke out of these ears of these kids. The brains are over frying themselves because they're trying to figure out the pattern left and right. And if they can figure out the pattern left and right, let me get this damn thing off again. If they can figure out the pattern left and right, they can actually get the higher scores. <coughs> well, didn't they do the same damn thing when they came down from Minball? Minball! Whoopers! Get that ball going. Shoot. Yeah, this damn thing going on for what? Several decades for that damn machine that's still out there. And you can even play it on a video on screen. Do anything on the computer screen, apparently. Go see people. Last of the way. When it came out for the home games, when it came out for the home computers. Our love for the electronic the zeros and ones became more of a but worse than that. Maybe some of the experts were right about it. Well, probably for the ones that hadn't shot blood ball through a metal tube and then a target. Paper or flesh. But if they had, maybe they would understand the addiction of it all. There were the video games that we got to do. Dastardly things. How about ripping people's heads off of their body left and right? There was controversy in the 80s and 90s about that damn thing. Reading about it, listening to it, checking out all the damn stuff that was happening in the computer world, in the computer gaming. We had gotten so sophisticated with our damn games during that time, we didn't even know what reality was anymore. We didn't have the virtual reality, we almost came damn close to it. Yeah, if we actually had the virtual reality back then, my god, we would have the same on that shit. Like we would do these days. I tried and entered the VR world and I didn't like it. I mean, to a point, yeah, it's very addictive. But then the other stuff that you can actually do with the answer. And seeing the implica implications of the answer. No, I don't think I'm going to be trapped with the zeros and ones like that. So it was bad enough as when we started thinking about it in the 90s and 2000s. That <coughs> put our consciousness into a VR system. Well, we get out of that, the VR world. Anything virtual, we can do anything we want to it. Just doesn't harm the body, right? Unless, of course, we had sensors that could give us the feelings of what was going on. We wouldn't tell reality from what fantasy would be. I remember some of the games came out, coming out in the 80s and 90s when it came out to consoles in the 2000s. Those cartridges were floppy disks. And then the cartridges, they called them floppies. And then we had the CDs, which were still around. They'd load them into the computer and give you a bit of a false sense of reality there a little bit. We can. Do a martyrs, fly against people, or anything else like that. But even worse, we can shoot people left and right. 
I've got somebody to get back to. I can die many times. I've died many times. Or too often. I've also become immortal. Without a cheat code, you become immortal. You don't die, you have unlimited ammunition, and you don't have walls. Good to go, right? Are you? I can find different areas to hide. I actually lose my attitude, but I still win a game that you didn't even realize. Randomness is real sometimes. It's scary as hell for me to think about how pissed I was. I can walk outside my window. Mark the sounds that still hurts. 16 after 5 in the morning. Sun's barely coming up. It scares me to think that I could go outside, maybe take a cup of coffee. And I was afraid of some asshole coming down the street with a gun, ready to do something. The fear of that sticks to my crawl. Imagine living in a war-torn country, but you have to deal with that in reality. It's bad enough we have to create the damn thing. But to see a dead person, for real, having a body count increased, they want to ban, people want to ban things like they're actually banned in video games. What kind of reaction we get from people like that? I grew up under that kind of environment. I grew up with the pawns, with the handheld games, with the computer console. Spent money that I shouldn't have out of my mother's pocket and in an arcade and a flat the machine. The eight of Susan B is like they were quarters. Five hundred dollars. I still have her. She's dead. I was high, but I still have her. The more I keep thinking about it, the more I keep trying to talk about the damn thing, the more I'm feeling it. Not the urge to go to a game and destroy it or play it. It's the sudden heavy realization of everything and anything around it that I ever need to get to. And it's all gone. Our sanity, our intelligence, our humanity, our empathy, our compassion. Replaced by fear and paranoia. Electronics are given away to be led. Or they're trying to replace the ball of love. It's scary when I have to talk about things like this because I'm not quite sure where the hell I'm going with it. What do you explain? Except what ACDC kept singing about. What the hell? By that time, you know, we're going to be enjoying our food too damn much. Screaming our heads, screaming our asses off, screaming at each other. Just to hear ourselves scream. Yeah, it's got to be the scary part of this one. Even if I happen to talk about this kind of thing, 
I like to get this one way or another. Will I be a deciding voter this time, or am I just going to be the person who passes gas out? It's a scary realization. I don't know that one by the time. A long time ago. Coming out of my mother's room, I didn't realize what the hell kind of was. We're getting ourselves up to the house. We had a free time for that. Maybe we'd stay if I did, so maybe say, God, I'm not staying down here the way I've been here. But we got no choice but to live it. We got no choice but this life to deal with it. To go for ourselves and each other with the concepts that we have. And if we can't do that, then what the hell are we doing? I have kind of thing. All I know is we're in trouble. If we can't get out of it, we are people. Well, that the be all right. I can say the things I need to say, but sometimes I'm not allowed to say it because of certain algorithms out there. Terms and conditions ruled by the zeros and ones. We will never get past this damn thing. We will never get past. We are forever entwined with the zeros and ones and all sorts of violent things in their soul. I don't see any other way around it. And the person is not right in the box. We have got to go to the side. Absolutely being mutilated by the band. Get her right on the wall. Ball moves right after the race. Can turn the ball to the race. We just all look into our bearings. We're going to use the lead balls and the electronic zeros and ones <coughs> to replace them. Terminal We are in a row. 